Premier John Horgan's snap election during the rising wave of COVID-19 cases places partisan interests ahead of health and safety. The people of British Columbia deserve better. In this campaign, we urge voters to demand fundamental social change. Electing even one communist to legislature would transform the political terrain. A higher vote for communist candidates can send a powerful message that working class and poor voters, indigenous people and environmentalists, all those who reject the capitalist mantra of unending profits, refuse to be taken for granted any longer. Our world today faces an impending climate catastrophe, a huge gap between rich and poor, and unending imperialist wars and regime change. As capitalism staggers from crisis to crisis, far-right forces are promoting a tidal wave of racism, police brutality, scapegoating of immigrants, misogyny, homophobia, and transphobia. Whenever the emergency measures to help people survive the pandemic come to an end, the working class will be forced to pay the cost for bailing out the business sector. Nobody wants to return to the corporate BC Liberals. They should be defeated in this election. But the hope that people had when the NDP Green Coalition government took office has largely not been carried out. They have failed to keep the promises for real change in this province. It's true, there are some things that were accomplished under Horgan's government. Higher minimum wage, higher disability and social assistance rates. There was money put into child care and housing. But none of it went nearly far enough to address the serious economic challenges that people in this province are facing, especially during the economic crisis around the COVID epidemic. We need to tax the rich to use that money to really implement fundamental change in this province. We need childcare now, not 10 years from now. We need housing to end the crisis of street homelessness now, not years from now. We need higher minimum wages now, not four, five, six years down the road. These are things that can be really done right now, right today, but the government has not earned our votes with its record over the last three years. The NDP says it lacks the revenue base to make more rapid progress on homelessness, health care, public education and child care. But the Premier and his cabinet have never considered cancelling the multi-billion dollar liberal tax cuts for corporations and the top income earners. Instead of decisive steps to cut greenhouse gas emissions, the NDP has continued the construction of the Site C Dam. The NDP gave huge tax breaks for the planned LNG terminal at Kitimat. And the Premier supported sending in the RCMP against land defenders uh, who were resisting the coastal gas link pipeline across unceded Wet'suwet'en territories. Bill 41 promised to fully implement the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People. But the NDP backs resource extraction and export mega projects. These are not the actions of a government which supports the life and death struggle for climate justice. By failing to challenge the source of corporate power, Horgan's NDP has not earned the trust of the working class. It does not deserve our votes, especially in ridings where communists are on the ballot. We campaign for policies to weaken corporate power, protect the environment, and defend the interests of the working class and indigenous peoples. Only socialism, based on democratic public ownership of the economy and the political power of the working class, can offer a genuine solution to the complex problems confronting BC and indeed our country and our world. I'm Walter Parsons, and I'm the candidate for Victoria Swan Lake for the Communist Party of British Columbia. My name's Florian Castle, and I'm running in Oak Bay Gordon Head for the Communist Party of BC. Hi, my name is Kimball Carew. I'm a candidate in the riding of Vancouver Hastings for the Communist Party of BC. My name's Tyson Strandland. I'm running in the riding of Langford Wanda Fuca for the Communist Party of British Columbia. My name's Ryan Abbott. I'm running in Surrey Wally for the Communist Party of BC.